Subscribe now. EU debates. In, in the monetary union, uh, there is an inherent risk, particularly the, the monetary union that, that we have um, here in the euro area. There's an inherent risk that a large shock can create fragmentation risks. And that can lead to self-fulfilling market dynamics that are not warranted. And it matters for the singleness of our monetary policy in our monetary union. But those impediments uh, can have different sources. And that is the reason why we have several tools. As I said earlier on, we have the flexible reinvestment of PEP, which has been deployed, is currently operational. We have OMT, which was decided back then for another unwarranted um, disorderly uh, market dynamics, but having to do with more country-specific uh, matters, and closely associated with the redenomination risk, because that's really what it was designed for at the time, if you remember. So we were short of this particular tool, which is the one that uh, we have uh, in front of us, the transmission protection instrument, that is not related to redenomination risks but to the unwarranted disorderly market dynamic, dynamics that can impair uh, the proper transmission of monetary policy throughout the euro area, which is, as I said again, it's with no limitation ex ante, which has been designed carefully with adequate attention paid to the safeguards that are necessary for that instrument to be valid, and with a uh, a creditor seniority that is pari passu with any other creditor um, in order for it to be, uh, to be efficient and not to crowd out. So that's, uh, that's what we have done. And uh, I can assure you that uh, we would rather not use TPI. The Governing Council would rather not use it. But if we have to use it, we will not hesitate. We will not hesitate. Thank you. Thank you.